Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Place, the Binding of Isaac Reaper, the great Isaac run last time. Can't complain in the least. Maggie run. Leaves a little bit more to be desired. F F M N F Flamin Q Y sixty. Oh yes, waiter, um I'll have a bottle of the uh Flamin Q Y sixty, please. Oh, excellent choice, sir. Fantastic. Quite alright. <laughs> I don't know what I'm effing talking about. Anyway, at least we can't kill ourselves in this curse room like we did on that Eve run, no matter what happens. Pretty fly, I can see forever. Hey, that's pretty good, all things considered. We're not on an XL floor, right? Yeah, I didn't just ruin my chances of a deal with the devil to get a pretty fly in a couple of secret rooms. Remember, my goal? Modest. You know, they say don't bite off more than you can chew. By just saying, I want to go on a streak, that's like biting into a piece of food, like a big juicy steak, with your eyes closed. You know, it might taste good. However, you can't see what you're biting into, you know, it might look like shit, it might be an enormous steak. That might not be a bad thing, it might be a little tiny steak, you get all excited, oh, this first bite of steak was delicious, what do you mean it's all done? Instead, I've set a much more concrete goal for myself, and my hope is that, you know, some form of, like, sports psychology backs me up here. And by setting a realistic goal, that is, su it's realistic but ambitious, as a result of that phenomenon, working together, may find myself a more able to do it, perhaps. In any case, there's a Tinted Rock here, I'm very excited about that. Our goal, complete the game without losing, with every character, sequentially. Not that impossible, minus the lost, of course. We're gonna take these bombs, go back, blow up that Tinted Rock, and uh, my hope is that uh, by blowing up that Tinted Rock, we'll maybe get Small Rock early, or we could get a Spirit Heart, and we're gonna save that Spirit Heart for a little bit later. Because I am not interested in losing it right now. We also have another bomb for Tinted Rocks on the next floor, presumably. Which would be awesome if we could get a couple of Spirit Hearts, guarantee ourselves a deal with the Devil. It's a very simple formula to Isaac. Get that early deal with the Devil. That gives you by far the best chance of winning. Then things get a little bit more complicated. If you get that early deal... Oh, teleportation card's really nice, too. If you get that early deal with the devil, uh, and it sucks, then you have to go through some more hoops. And if you get that second deal with the devil and it sucks, then you gotta go through some more hoops. But for now, our flowchart is very, very simple. Get that first deal with the devil. It's our singular focus. And then if we start doing more damage after that, well, life's good. Didn't need to pick this up right away, in fact. That was a bit of a poor decision, especially since we actually are fighting Headless Horseman, who is real annoying. But we will still have our full spirit heart, no matter how much damage we take on this room. We'll have our full spirit heart to draw from on the next floor, and fuck the yum heart. I'm picking up uh, the the pony here. If we're gonna fight this boss on the first floor, we might as well take uh, full advantage of it, right? Oh my god, we <laughs> we started did some serious damage with that black heart. I'm actually very glad we did pick it up before we came down here. Oh no, I'm taking hits. Who cares? Even if we die, we'll respawn as blue baby, so we could actually kill ourselves on a deal with the devil and be like totally fine with it. Look, I probably shouldn't have taken that damage there, but don't tell anybody. You don't tell anybody, I won't tell anybody. Let's go pick up our spirit heart. It's actually a pretty good haul for us early on. You know, people turn down their noses at, or turn up their noses at, um, giving up uh, a, an active spacebar item for the ability to fly. The truth is that early on, an active ability to fly is freaking awesome. So why am I coming through to this room? I figured we, we're pretty strong. Why not at least take a look? I thought it might be worthwhile to see if maybe we had some kind of special room over here, which we do, but it's just a shop, unfortunately. I would give up the pony for Book of Revelations, as much as I love the speed and the ability to fly. We'll see. Two extra keys. Very lovely, I'm glad I came through here. The other thing worth noting, and I think I mentioned it, but just in case I didn't mention it, it bears mentioning. We picked up, uh, we picked up, uh, the Fool card. Which is either useless or one of the best cards in the game, depending on how you feel about Boss Rush. I like Boss Rush quite a lot. See? We already paid for, uh... A speed plus range upgrade with our ability to fly. I, you're not gonna believe me, because it looks too convenient now. But I actually thought about mentioning it. I was like, you know, sometimes early on the game likes to throw these items on top of uh, gaps that you can't access. Normally, it's a not, well, not normally, but oftentimes, you know, you see pictures of like Polyphemus on your first floor and you have no ability to fly. We just got Roid Rage, but hey, something. We just got, we got something decent for free. How can we complain about that? Oh, it's not filet mignon. They gave me sirloin. I want a filet mignon. Shut your hole, person that I have made up for the purposes of demonstrating everything wrong with our society. Now, there is a tinted rock over here. We got small rock out of it. 
which means we still need to be vigilant about not taking damage. But at the same time, we're in a uh, very good position here. Getting that damage upgrade with the Spirit Heart to back us up is a nice balance, is what it is. And we're going to have a stupid amount of batteries. My hope is that we end up getting an item that we don't want to take, but that has great like potential if we use it on this floor. That way we can actually do something with these batteries. What is that? Oh, so the Yara Rune makes it so... I mean, it's a good thing, but the Yara Rune does make it so that I can't really take the Fool card with me because the Yara Rune's too good. And I, of all the uses for the Yara Rune, I can't think of one better than double the amount of items you get on the chest. I'm sorry. Oh, our Spirit Heart's gone. Uh, I, I, have to, I have to stick with what works. I was really hoping that would be Balls of Steel. It's okay, though. The question is, is there anything we can use our Fool card for on this floor? And the answer is yes, actually. Maybe I should sound more uh, optimistic. The answer is yes, actually. Hmm. Oh, we got a Spirit Heart out of it. All is forgiven. We could use that to not take damage at all, entering and exiting our Curse Room. First things first. Ball of Tar. It's just okay. Uh, we must have Curse of the Maze. How do I still have Are You a Wizard? I've been just, like messing about forever here there we go it, it only had like two seconds left and we're gonna be a little slow leaving this floor before we go to the curse room why don't we just fight the boss you know we're on an easy floor is there any chance now there's no chance that we find a book of revelations so let's just do it it's gonna be dingle dingle's gonna get slowed I think I, I look down on ball of tar because I always forget that it actually gives you the slow shot as well. I'm always like, oh, it's not the, uh, you know, juicy sex, sticky babies. But, you know, giving you the slow shot means that you have, like, the advantage of having Gish. Only you actually get to aim the shots instead of having to rely on the bullshit AI to do it for you. It's a good thing. The creep is just an added bonus. The occasional ability for you to do some good stuff here. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah. We already have the ability to fly. But I will totally take this, just so in the future we can get rid of um, the pony without feeling bad about it. So especially if we could find a space bar here. And then, you know, I took nine lives, because I always take nine lives. But, 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 you, uh, you don't have any HP anymore. Nick, you get back in your training hole and talk to me when you get out, okay? Because this is, it's good. It's good. It's a privilege to not have very much HP. Uh, we want to get that fool card. In all sincerity, sincerity, it, it actually is nice to have nine lives early. The earlier you get it, the better. I actually think that nine lives might somehow need a nerf. I don't even know. The nerf that Nick suggested for it, I, we got Pentagram for free. The nerf that Nick suggested for it just makes me mad. And then I didn't even use the fool card because I, I was excited that we got Pentagram for free. He was like, well, nine lives should make it so you just don't lose your HP when you pick it up. And I was like, that makes it the best item like in the game bar none although s oh I dropped my controller not like I'm using the controller but I dropped it anyway that's how mad I am at his uh, assumption and assessment of that item sometimes it is nice to use the nine uh, lives to lose HP put you in horror Babylon status Eve or something like that but man I feel like we've been getting this item so much lately that the series has basically become Northern Lion talk shit about how Nick feels about nine lives but I really I want to drill it into people's heads that it's a good item Obviously, we'd be better off with uh, the Yum Hard right now than the Pony, since we do have the ability to fly, but I'm not going to be too sad about that. I still think it's awesome that we have a passive and an active ability to fly, so if we want to, we can get rid of our active ability. And it's not like I was really that concerned about saving two Red Hearts anyway. The Step one of every Maggie run ooh, is... I was so worried that it was going to do that, but at least we didn't take damage, so we can just do exactly the same thing over again, and it won't matter. Uh, except we'll get hit on the way out, but we were gonna plan to get hit on the way out anyway Maybe we could have used our active effect to get around that, but I don't think so tried that in vanilla, but this isn't vanilla Maybe it's worth another shot um, As Maggie one of the things you want to do is get rid of your uh, Get rid of your HP for damage as soon as possible now. I mean the ability to fly is not damage, but it does help us avoid taking damage That's something blue baby's only friend so good our tears are pretty good right now but Blue Baby's only friend is going to be substantially more damaging and is really going to carry us until we can get some even better, uh, you know, tier items. This is awesome. It's an incredibly good start. Also, considering we have the ability to fly like two times over, we pretty much uh, 
can just hide out over here. Shouldn't have a great chance of getting hit. I'd appreciate it. Which one were we attacking before? I think it was this one. He's got to be dead soon. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to rotate over to like this side of the map. Still a gap over here. Yeah, chase me down, motherfucker. You're not going to like what happens here. Blue Baby's only friend, such a good item. It's like a Ludovico Technir that you don't have to rely on Ludovico for. Get Caffeine Pill. The pill is Telepills. Well, we don't want our Yara Rune. What we can try to use um, the Pony Effect for is if we get hit, or are about to get hit, we could just Pony up, but I think it's a bad idea. A Lump of Coal. That's the, the better option of what we have, but... We're actually making great time right now. It would be awesome if I could pick up another Spirit Heart before the end of the floor, though. I'm a little bit concerned, but I guess we don't need to be. The, mo the only thing I'm concerned about is getting deals with the Devil. Are we going to be able to do that? Yeah, probably. I mean, we just got one right there. And we improved ourselves nicely on this floor, even if it's not in a traditional, like, statistical way. These rooms are pretty sweet. And, you know, our tears themselves are nothing to sneeze at, either. We got, uh, we got the Pentagram. Now we got a lump of coal. And we got a small rock. It's it's pretty good. No matter what Wow, that could have hit me. That should have hit me. Um, no matter what we choose to go with, we're we're sitting in the clear here. Which is nice. I should probably be using Blue Baby's only friend some more though. The tears, it's just it's hard to break the habit, man. That's okay. It's also hard to focus on dodging shots and aiming this weird tier at the same time. 10 minutes. I'm just, I'm looking for the shop, but now that I think about it, we're not gonna get nearly enough money to make the shop worthwhile, so pretty much I'm just, I'm, I'm farming down here for no reason. But we've already done it, so we might as well kind of like do it, you know? I might even want to go to our mob trap room just to see if we do get some money in the process there, but I, I put a bomb down, I might as well see what it gets. That was an accident. I just hit it when I, when I was dodging. Mmm, okay. I think we're just gonna go, and we're gonna say, you know what, 10.30 is pretty good. We got some damage now, boss rush is a possibility, and considering we have, like, the passive ability to fly and decent damage, we probably have a pretty good chance of getting through boss rush, or if our HP sucks, pick up an item on boss rush, get killed, and then head down to the next floor. Uh, we could have opened that shit up and then telepilsed out, but whatever. Yara rune is what we want. As, this run is like, if you're not super experienced with Isaac, or in Isaac, I should say, because we're not playing as Isaac. But if you're not super experienced in Isaac, this run probably looks horrifying right now. You know, Maggie, not Brimstone, not Mom's Knife, 1 HP. It's like a death sentence, right? Nine lives doesn't matter. As soon as you die, you're just going to die nine times in a row. Like, that's the superstition that surrounds this item. It doesn't make any dang sense. Nine lives is totally fine. You're going to be totally fine when you use it. You're going to like the way you look, I guarantee it. All you got to do is have a little bit of confidence and uh, manage your spirit hearts as effectively as possible and recognize that, you know, sometimes buying a spirit heart is its not an admission of failure. Sometimes buying a spirit heart is just what you got to do to do it. I know I might be speaking nonsense here, but remember, you know, I want to be kind of like the Zen master of the Binding of Isaac. I don't want to be the guy who's, uh, you know, oh, well, the mercurial properties of this, yada, yada, yada. That's so good right there. Uh, I want to be the guy who's like... Um, you know, I, I know the stats, roughly. I know them just enough to know that I know them al enough. Circular reasoning means I can't be wrong. Yeah, I've taken an, eth or not an ethics class, a, um, a logic class. Similar. Um, I forgot what I was saying recently. But the point is, I want to win, but I don't want to know why I win. When you phrase it that way, it sounds a little bit worse. That's okay. This is a room where... I'm going to enjoy actually using our tears instead of Blue Baby's only friend because we need to maintain our own mobility here and I need to focus on being able to dodge a lot of like intersecting shots here when I start killing these guys. Last one left. Basically the enemies have high mobility, we can't dodge them as effectively. I'd like to be out of this floor within the minute. It's possible. Might consider it a little unlikely. Now these, this guy is ideal to fight with Blue Baby's only friend because means we don't accidentally, like, bait him out. But, like, in the reverse bait. He doesn't bait us out. Which I appreciate. Ooh, that extra spirit heart might be extremely important to guarantee me a deal with the devil here. Now, he picked up Dry Baby. Dry Baby is a good item. Definitely qualifies in good item category. Means that Skulls are not going to give us Dry Baby. Which means maybe they have a better chance to give us the, the cards or runes that I would desire. 
I don't think we can get another dry baby. I don't like. It would, I don't know what it would matter. I guess it could work. Having already been to our item room and having not very much money, which is partially because of the fact that I keep rushing through these floors, that means that I am going to uh, just bow out of this floor as quickly as possible. Basically, the wretched is not so bad. Very easily done. No deal with the devil, but a range upgrade. It's all right. We're out of here. I'd say the perfect amount of time. We got three minutes and 45 seconds for each of our other floors. If we want to get to boss rush, we can. If there's nothing in there we want, we can just leave. There we go. Could have just gone around the other way, I guess. But I, I, have, a, I have a pattern for that room. My pattern has worked for me. So I keep using it. That was not my pattern, but it worked anyway because our speed is so high. And you know what? You might be thinking our speed's going to go down when we get rid of the pony. And you're right, but it won't go down that much. You know, we do have Lord of the Pit. We need to stick with the Yara rune. The way that this works is if we get a card on the next floor, or maybe we get starter deck in our shop here if we get the money for it, but um, if we get a teleportation card on our next floor that's not the Emperor or the Joker, then we can leave the Yara rune and teleport out. Which uh, would be nice, because I can get that free boss item and, you know, basically have my cake and eat it too. Let's take a look for um, potential items in our shop here. This could be a library as well, which I would welcome, to be honest with you. Spirit Heart. I think I gotta buy it to give me the best chance of getting a deal with the devil on this floor. You know, the, the thing is, if you're gonna play this 9 lives strat, and I recommend you do, uh, you gotta have high damage. Preferably higher than we already have. Hey, it's a good start. Um, you know what? Sure, I'll take it. I don't think Demon Baby's that good, but I also don't mind giving up our one red heart, because if we die, we're going to respawn with it anyway. And we'll respawn with Demon Baby. It's kind of, you know, the best of both worlds. Sort of. Could save a key by using stars on this floor, but um, I'd rather not have to deal with teleporting stuff if I'm trying to make sure that I'm out of the floor as quickly as possible. We want to be off of this floor by about 16 and a half minutes. Uh, seems completely feasible that that could happen. What's better at this point? Our tears or uh, Blue Baby's only friend? It's hard to say. We're doing enough damage that I feel I feel comfortable using our own tears here. You should be dead if I can just get you to get in phase one more time. Thank you. And one more here. If there's red chests in that uh, mob trap room, I will be able to go to it. I would like very much to do so. The guppy dream, you know, it happens a lot, but I would like to do it anyway. Basically, we got a free spirit heart. It's worth it. A little weird, but worth it nonetheless. You just gotta take that stuff in stride, you know, when the game gives you free stuff, don't question it too much. Just go with it. It's an Adam Sandler, Jennifer Aniston movie. Just based on the cast alone, I would really recommend you watch it. Now, that is, uh... Not particularly useful. I really, really dislike experimental treatment. So, the cage. We meet again. I am safe down here. I don't like the fact that you are very mobile. You will do some jumping, by the way. I'm hoping to be out of here when you do that jumping. And also, when you do your bullshit, like, creep explosion move, I'm hoping to be gone. But, uh, we're doing a pretty good job with Blue Baby's only friend here. Which I appreciate. Good. Your creep just totally fucked itself into the wall. We should stand in the corner when the cage jumps more often. That seemed to work out fantastically. We will take the HP, even though I said I was happy to be losing the HP earlier, and we'll head down to the next floor. Hoping for starter deck here, I guess. Unlikely to happen, but theoretically possible. And we're at about 1630, which is roughly where I wanted to be. So again, we're sacrificing our free boss rush item. It, it's a bit of a, it's a cool thought experiment, even though it might seem obvious. We're sacrificing a free boss rush item from having a teleportation on the boss rush, which is your choice of four items for four free items. What would you rather have? Four random free items or your choice of a pool of four items? I would rather have four random items. There's other, you know, considerations. Do you have the D6 or, like, can you get a Perthrow rune or something like that? But uh, all other things being equal, like with our in our current situation, I'd rather get four free items. Provided we, we manage to keep the keys necessary to, to open them all, of course. I'd rather have... Uh, I'd rather have two free items. Uh, maybe not at that point. I mean, there have been some situations where Boss Rush has just had shitty items, but there's been some situations where it's had, like, a, a choice of some really, really good ones. Which is why I like it. 
I'm not going to shit on Boss Rush now that I'm, you know, potentially not going to go to it. That's just bad manners, isn't it? All right, a double key room there. Well, speaking of using our keys, we are going to be doing exactly that right here. I hope it's not a... I hope it's just a room full of red chests. That happens all the time. No, it's a reroll everything. Or reroll all of our items room. I'm not going to take it. I know that that can give us the items that we need in order to get the real Platinum God, but I'm committed to the 10 character streak now. That's that's not that ambitious. 10 character streak is something I would consider that like, for me, the bare minimum level where I'll start to feel like decent about my skills again. I don't want to pop off three wins, lose one consistently. I'd rather, you know, win 75% of our runs by winning 10 in a row and then, you know, lose four in a row right after or something like that. That would make me happier. It's more noteworthy. Nothing doing for Tinted Rocks here. If we have to skip uh, a room, we'll skip a room. If we have the choice of doing it. I don't really mind fighting greed, to be honest with you. I don't really want Steam Sale. Yeah, sure, you didn't, didn't give us Steam Sale. So that's me pretty much abandoning the shop path for the entirety of the game. My bad. There's a little extra money there. Uh, this room is actually... I've gone... Uh, on record many times, this is very controversial, as saying, you know, this room's great with Blue Baby's only friend, but actually, if you have the ability to fly, I think it's better to just shoot them, depending on your damage. I don't like doing, nah, I, I think we have to just go, well, we have to decide, are we going to go item room or boss rush room? I think it's better to go, to have a chance at the boss rush room, because you have your choice of items. Sure, you'll have to fight for it if you want it, but you do have your choice in the process, which I think it makes it better. So I think you just, you know, put Blue Babies... It would almost be best if, like, the eyes popped out in the corner, so I could just put, like, Blue Babies Only Friend in one of the corners. Or the way that we could handle this is just keep that eye, or, like, that fly there, let Demon Baby deal with the Riff Raff, and we'll just wait for the foot to spawn. This is kind of set it and forget it. It's actually working out pretty nicely. It totally worked. Wow. All right, uh, we'll take the Polaroid. Look at our deal with the devil. Yeah, Dark Bomb for sure. It also makes our boss, boss rush room better. Mysterious Liquid. I mean, none of these are worth it. We already have the Gish effect, basically. Mysterious Liquid's okay. Skinny Odd Mushroom's okay. But none of them are worth uh, the sacrifice that we'd have to make to fight in that room. So yeah, we missed out on an item room. But we missed out for an educated guess. Sue me. Really unfortunate thing is that we're not getting a deal with the devil on this floor. Now we do have uh, we do have permanent Polaroid invincibility. We have overkill with our uh, ability to fly. I'm not super optimistic about this run, to be honest with you. Normally I'm like, oh, could all I need to do is be able to beat Blue Baby or Isaac without getting hit with multiple attempts. I don't necessarily think that that's super likely with the current layout that we have going on here, to be honest with you. Uh, we're a little bit low on damage. I was banking on, you know, maybe Guppy becoming a reality or just picking up more deals with the devil. But we do have Dark Bum. And that's that's not even a start. That's like we've taken the first like five or six steps on our journey. All we need to do is get a bunch of red hearts and then it, you know, we we have a certain baseline threshold of damage that we can't go under thanks to Blue Baby's only friend. And that baseline threshold of damage is not bad. We've won runs with worse damage than this. And uh, I think we can make this one work just fine. All we need to do is uh, hope for some some decent uh, red heart generation. Plus, we have this Yara rune. I shouldn't sh uh, shit talk the Yara rune. We got to get through uh, the floors to make the Yara rune work for us. But that's not that big of a deal. These guys relatively low HP, thankfully. Why am I tempting fate by getting up in their grill like this? That's a very good question. Somehow you did not die. I must not have had you appropriately targeted here. Like, we'll weaken him a little bit, then let Demon Baby finish the job. Yeah. Feels good, man. And I'm actually actively pursuing the big rooms here. Why? P-A-R-T-Y? Because I gotta! No, I'm, I think it's a, a smart idea, you know? If you're afraid of something, and it's not going to kill you, you should just confront it. People talk about facing your fears all the time. I'm a, I'm a fan of, like... Uh, Facing realistic fears. 
People were like, I'm afraid of skydiving. You gotta jump out of a plane, dog. No, you don't understand. I could just go my whole life without jumping out of a plane. I understand. Yeah, it's probably exhilarating. Sure. That's fine. But also, like, I think if, you, if your fear is, like, rationally kind of avoidable in the course of a normal life that you live, then that's fine. You can go without it. If you really, if you want to do skydiving but you're afraid of it, that's a weird, you know, hot pot of emotions that I'm not familiar with, all right? But if you're, like, I'm afraid of snakes, and you live in, like, snake country, and you're not going to move, sure, get some treatment. I think that's a good idea. But if you're like, I'm afraid of, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a good example. Skydive is a good one. It's like, I'm afraid of roller coasters. Well, you know, you can just not go on roller coasters and live a completely normal life. That's a relatively non-debilitating condition as far as conditions go. I got to save our keys. I don't have to save our keys. Like, this is a floor where I could conceivably choose to actually um, open those, but I'm not going to because I want to save our keys. That's a more accurate way of phrasing it. Well, that spider is trapped over there, but it will become my... Oh, you had another thing to pay out with too, huh? Yeah, there was another spirit heart that we just got right there. Hard to see, but we got it. XL floor, you know, pisses me off just a little bit. Just a little bit. We'll be fine. If we found our boss early, it wouldn't be so bad. So this is a very easy room. Very, like, light puzzle box here. Pretty much, we're just going to get in here and then let Demon Baby finish the job, and I think it did so there. Unless he got hit by the spider, I think. That might have been it. Oh, my God. So good. My hero, Dark Bum. Out of control. Off the rails. That is bad damage. But we have permanent Polaroid invincibility. It would be nice to actually have like some kind of uh, offensive orbital. Oh, well. You can't have everything in life. We're doing pretty well, I'd say. New no tinted rocks. Thank you, dry baby. Nothing? I was gonna say, you gotta pop up sooner or later. I found pills. I think we've already seen, like, mostly good pills, so I was kind of expecting something shitty, but out of the shitty pills, uh, I found pills is one of the best. Technically, I found pills is actually part of the good pile, which makes no sense at all, but there it is. All right, we can probably pop out now and start dealing with this riff-raff around here. It might be to the point where uh, Blue Baby's Only Friend actually does less damage than our actual tiers, but the thing about uh, Blue Baby's Only Friend is that we can focus 100% on dodging, especially when we're fighting enemies that are not that... <sighs> that was terrible. Especially when we're fighting enemies that are not that mobile, we can just focus 100% on damage and, you know... Or 100% on dodging, I should say, and then not have to worry about the fact that, uh, you know, there's things out there trying to kill us. Wonder if that was the first time I've ever been hit by those things. You got something? That's all right. I'm coming through this room anyway. Give me some spirit hearts. I'll blow that other one up. Why not? I thought so. Are you a wizard? Tears down. Hurts a little bit. Not that much. We broke even for going into that room, though, so that's something. When these guys get slow, it's actually a nice combination, you know? Ball of Tar, and then uh, Blue Baby's Only Friend. Who would have thought? It's actually pretty helpful here. Please stop moving. I have to anticipate which direction you're going in. It's driving me nuts here. Two free bombs was not worth the, the time invested there, but that's okay. The other thing, it gives me a lot of time to focus on other things in my life. You know, I can look for, uh, I can look for tinted rocks instead of having to deal with this bullshit. There's no tinted rocks. That's all right, though. I had the time to look for them. It's a luxury. We're completely fine here. I would like more red hearts. I mean, if I really wanted more red hearts, we could start blowing up, uh those polyps but I, I don't you know I always end up or I often end up finishing runs while having bombs remaining still that's a bad habit but I'll live looks like we're gonna be fighting probably mr. Fred which doesn't really matter to me I would have rather been fighting like double well, it could be double fallen if we fight double fallen I would love to get a deal with the devil item but no yeah it's uh it's mr. Fred the way I think we should handle this Take care of this riffraff first with our own tears, just because it's easier to position them. Then we'll hang out over here, bring Blue Baby's only friend back, 
And we'll just have a drink of water here. While we wait for this to finish. Now we do still need to watch out because there is the, uh, the chance that these guys will shoot bombs. And if they shoot a bomb at me, I gotta get away from these rocks. I thought we killed Mr. Fred there, actually. He will be dead momentarily. What's the item? Damage upgrade. I like it. Don't see any tinted rocks. Oh. No, don't see any tinted rocks. We'll fight Mom's Heart next. Um, pretty much the same philosophy applies here. Ooh. Thank you, Dry Baby. We can even use uh, Blue Baby's only friend a little earlier. Lucky me. And then we'll just kind of hang out and focus on dodging. If only Dry, or not Dry Baby, Blue Baby's only friend had some kind of like shielded tier effect, I would be so happy. Mom will probably kill her own minion. Totally worked out already. Dry Baby hooking me up. I don't think there's much need to like actively make Dry Baby do anything. It just kind of does it on its own and it, it gets the job done. I'm actually very surprised we managed to dodge all of that as we head up to the cathedral. You know, it's a bit cliche to say, but as long as we make it to the chest, we have Yera Rune 8 keys. It shouldn't be a problem to get uh, at least a couple of items that could take us to the next level. And really, a couple of items is all we need. Now, we'll... Oh, don't push him over here. He was, like, completely on aggroed. Would have been completely fine to kill him. Oh, Dry Baby might just finish the job. I would like to get one more key so we can start opening golden chests. I'm really glad we didn't spend keys uh, earlier. Remember, I was like, we can probably afford to spend keys here. We have like seven. Very glad we didn't. Can't believe we still have the pony, though. Not like Yumhar would make much of a difference Ooh, in our current setup. But uh, I'm, just, I'm just surprised is all that we didn't pick up any uh, other spacebar items. I know the pony item has an active effect. It's just like, you know... It's not worth very much to me. In my opinion, the, the pony's active effect is, is not a credible reason to continue on with this item. Monster 2 going to be relatively easy for us to take out. I still, you know, I think our DPS is a little bit better with our tiers. But I'm really enjoying kind of letting like half of my brain take some time off and just focus on dodging instead of having to worry about, uh, you know, dodging and shooting simultaneously. We just aim our Ludovico technique tier once and then it's good to go. I mean, it's the same with Ludovico Technique, but we don't have Ludovico Technique. We have a reasonable analog. We'd be better off with Ludovico Technique, mind you. Because we would have, uh, the damage would scale. I don't think the damage scales with Blue Baby's only friend. Might be mistaken. Whew. Bit risky. Now's your time, Dry Baby. I am totally going to go to our curse room as well. They're usually good to us, and that time is going to be no exception. We'll make... One black card on that trade, which is actually a, a pretty big deal. This is a big one too. A tarot card. Now, I don't I can't take a tarot card with me, but if you gave me like a hero font, I would love it. Especially if you gave me like a blank card along with it. But I doubt it. If you gave me a blank card, we'd do blank card Yara rune, probably. Oh. Chariot. Chariot's pretty good. Let's see what we get here. It's usually HP, unfortunately, but it's okay. It's the thought that counts. Sometimes we get the compass. Sometimes we get a rune, a Dagaz rune, which we can use to uh, just pick up a spirit heart. It also purges whatever curse we have, I think, but we don't have a curse to purge. You know what? We should be uh, a little risky here because, or we should be a little scared here because it's possible that if we um, get him to pay out with the HP, he might pay out at the door and force us to pick us up, pick it up. So I was like, I'm going to block this space. I don't know if that'll actually work or if it'll make us pick it up automatically. But it doesn't matter because if it was going to pay out there, we have to hit it either way. Unless there's a secret room right here. Oh my god, there is. We got the cardboard box anyway, that's fine. Uh, we get a rune out of it and a black heart. The rune is Yera. So we might as well double this shit. I don't think you can double your Yera rune. Why would we want to anyway? We double our Yara rune, then we use one Yara on the other. I don't think it works. You might be able to blank card it, but I'm just going to do things the easy way. We'll double all this stuff. We still got that Yara rune in the other room. Yara rune in the other room. Yeah, that makes sense. Got two chariot cards now. Two pheromones pills. HP's looking great. Finally, a way to actually use chariot while still doing damage as well. 
We got a hero font card. Oh my god. This going into this room was the best decision I made on an Isaac run in a long time. Good. Still got the Yara rune back here. If there was a way to take two Yara runes down to the next floor, I would love to know it. I don't think there is. So I think I can just be content with the fact that, uh, you know, that wasn't, I mean, there's a very little bit of strategy that went into that. Mostly just random chances helped me out a great deal. I appreciate that. Keys are good. Daddy Longlegs is a uh, pretty easy boss for us to fight, although he can hit us pretty much regardless of where we're standing, so to be a little cautious about that. That's for you, Dark Bomb. I forgot you even existed, Dark Bomb. You've been very good for me, so I probably shouldn't be rude to you, but still. 31 minutes on this ride. Oh, man, I didn't realize you were so close. Hey, there's a, there's a good use for the pony's active effect. Crashing right into enemies, thereby basically making it inevitable that Dark Bomb... Or not Dark Bomb, but uh, Dry Baby has to work. I will never get the name of any enemy right. Or any... <laughs> see? I'll never get the name of any uh, orbital right the first time. Or any enemy, or any boss, or any item. For that matter. Sweet. We're in such a good position here. This has been a very fun run. And you don't always get that as Maggie, so I'm very appreciative of the fact. I'm just gonna keep moving here. Again, uh, what we sacrifice in DPS, that was not very smart, we make up for in, uh, in our ability to dodge. Dodge is per second. I should probably just still use, uh, Blue Baby's only friend to, sh to shoot those. I don't see any real reason why we wouldn't. Especially if we can hit multiple at the same time. Good stuff. I'm very excited for this Yara rune. Now, what I would like to see on the next floor, admittedly, um, is the opportunity for us to actually start using our tears as effective means of dealing damage again. I wonder at this point if we should just shoot at this guy, because it's, it's very easy to dodge his shots. We can also afflict him with a slow a little bit. You know, it's honestly not that much better. I think it, it might even be equivalent. And this one puts us a little bit more in harm's way. Ah, but in situations like this, we can do both at the same time. Yeah, that's the good stuff. If he's up against a wall, we're pretty lucky. Oh, Tomo, don't do it, buddy. Get out of here. You don't want no part of this. All right, well, I'll race you there, Blue Baby's only friend. Good stuff, you are deceased. Not diseased, diseased, as we head down to the next floor. Make sure to use the Yara rune. Inside. Not good. Eh, decent. Decent. Sissy Longlegs, not Spider Baby, yeah. Uh, shitty. Not very good. Eh, better than what we've got going on. I will take Bob's brain. Oh, 2020. They teased us right up until the end, but it ended up working out. Tomo, I straight up, dude, you gotta get out of here. Excuse me, my cat friend. You wanna eat the remnants of my sandwich? Just joking, there are never any remnants of a sandwich when I'm around. Get out of here. I try to pick him up and he raises his back up like he's an arched fucking bridge or something like that. Go. Get out of here. Get out of here. There you go. Uh, get off the desk. We got boxes on the desk, it doesn't matter. They, they just go crazy for us. We want this. We want this. We want uh, this. I think we'll save the rest in case there's a, a reroll room. It's very unlikely, but it is possible. So 2020 is that mystical item that I was looking for that does make it better, I think, for me to actually use my tears. I like having Midas touched. Excuse me? <laughs> I like having Midas touched because uh, it does mean that every time I take damage and get permanent Polaroid invincibility, I can just walk into an enemy and do way, way more damage than I would if I had just an offensive orbital or something. Unless maybe the orbital was Sacrificial Dagger. So the 2020 pickup is huge. Are we... Yeah, we are completely high range enough to handle this. Oh, it's not all dead. I, was, I thought there were so many things on my side that I was like, oh sweet, we got a Leaper somehow. I didn't even question it. Doesn't make any damn sense. Throw some bombs down. I really doubt that we're going to get a reroll, but it is the kind of thing that, you know, there's a theoretical chance thanks to the per throw rune existing. I'm really glad that there's a reroll consumable. Sometimes it's a little overkill when you get, like, you have the D6 and you pick up the reroll consumable, but for the most part, it's real freaking good. And fairly well balanced, I think. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. You might disagree. 
What do you got for me? What do you got for me? What do you got for me? Nothing. Nothing at all. That's okay. You tried. We're not going to lose this run. And, we, you know, this is the other value of nine lives. We didn't use any of our lives. Is that value? I don't know. Feels good either way. Tomo, it's all good, buddy. I'm going to kill Blue Baby. Lickety split. What a weird expression. And you are not going to be trapped in this room much longer. I'm Hit me. I want you to hit me. I want you to hit me. Oh, you finally managed to make it happen. Good for you. Get in there with Midas Touched. It also allows us to do that sweet slow. And, you know, I don't really care if Blue Baby explodes into a, a hail of individual pennies here. I'm mostly just excited about the fact that, you know, this run, again, I'm not going to use it as, like, proof that my strategy works because two wins in a row is not really that meaningful. However, the, the ten character streak, we're two-tenths of the way there. Two of the easiest tents, but two of the tents nonetheless. It's a good start. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh, did he step on number lock? I can't stop recording.